Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider. And I am so excited today because this is the brilliant home control panel. It comes in multiple sizes, but we have been waiting to share this review for so long. At CES 2019, Brilliant announced HomeKit with support was coming to their wall panels, and it took a while, but it is finally here. Launching first in beta before removing that beta tag in June, you can finally now control your Brilliant Switch through HomeKit, but this thing does so much more, a lot more. So this is a little bit of a long video, but we're gonna to touch on almost everything that this guy can do. Now let's go ahead and just dive right into it. Now we're gonna set up a few different panels in our home. Uh, usually the more you set up, the more functionality it has, whether you're going with the wall panels like a single gang like this, or you're going with a two or three or four gang switch, or even if you're just using the dimmer switches from Brilliant, there are a lot of options to customize your home. The hardware you receive is the same. You get a few wires and wire nuts, as well as the front panel and this back part that houses all of the electronics. There's even a little testing button here, so once you have this installed, you can press that, make sure your lights are working properly. Install was very easy to do, though with any electronics, if you're not comfortable replacing the wall switch, perhaps you should hire a professional or just ask over a confident friend. It was an easy install, everything was included, and the Brilliant app walked you through the process very simply. This does work with three-way and four-way switches, and it does require a neutral wire, so just keep those things in mind. This here is the front panel. It easily lifts off, which is great. It is very thin. There are multiple colors of faceplate options available. Ours is just white, but if that does not fit your home, there are several other options for you to choose from. Now, let's go ahead and just get this thing installed. We're going to go ahead and install our three gang switch. So as you can see, there are three different switch controls on here. We're gonna have two of our previous switches tied to one light, one going to the single switch, and then we're gonna have a fan tied to the last one. For what it's worth, this cannot control speed of fans, but it can turn them on and off. This works with Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant, and of course there are cameras built in, we're gonna to touch on those in a second. We're also gonna look at more integrations and how that works too. The first things we should look at though is how to control your lights. They're very easy to do simply by swiping up and down with two fingers on the panel itself, or you can use these switches by themselves. Swiping up with two fingers will turn all the lights on, swiping down will turn them off, or you can glide up and down those divots to the right hand side to brighten or dim those bulbs. Moving over to our other hallway switch, which is a single gang box, just one switch that we replaced, we're gonna go ahead and set up HomeKit. Now HomeKit again is launching as a beta, as a public beta that you can get on yourself, but it soon will be launching for everyone. And honestly, in our experience, we've had no issue thus far with HomeKit, even though it is just a beta. It works just as we expect it to. It just so far has been a perfect setup. We're going to go ahead and choose Apple HomeKit in the beta from the works with brilliant settings menu. And we're gonna scan that HomeKit code. And again, it just shows up right inside of the Home app. It looks very familiar if you've set up any other HomeKit accessories. We're gonna change that icon to a can light. It's gonna be in the hallway, make it a favorite, and tie it to any scenes that we may wanna do. This is our hallway light, so we're just gonna use it on a motion sensor and not include it in any of our existing scenes so far. If we go ahead and then jump into my hallway inside of the home app, you'll see in the top left hand corner, we have our hallway light, which is currently now dimmed to 1%. It will dim with a lot of different bulbs. They do it really well. They actually check what kind of bulbs you have and how it'll work and whether or not it can dim or not. It is such a smooth process to make sure everything is working as it should be. Again, you can just turn it on or off, adjust it here, talk through Siri and turn those lights on or off, tie it to a HomeKit motion sensor or the motion sensors built into the brilliant panels themselves. We're gonna move over to our three gang switch here in our living room and set this up with HomeKit as well because it's a little bit different. So as you can tell, three different lights turn on there. In this case, we may want to include our living room lights in our good night scene. That's a great suggested scene, so we will include that option there. But once we've had this added to our HomeKit, you're gonna notice how those devices show up. So they are here in our living room, but they all are grouped together. So we have the main lights, we have our fan, and we have our fireplace light. Um, they all look a little bit different because they are different. So the one is on a dimmer, which works as a dimmer, the fireplace light. The main lights, which are filament bulbs, and they don't work on a dimmer in our case. So we leave those just as an on and off status. And then we have our fan. And our fan, you can actually go inside of HomeKit and switch it from a switch to a fan. We can turn it that way as well and even choose the icon that goes along with it. This is a ceiling fan, so that is absolutely perfect. So you can have automation set up such as if the temperature in the room gets hot, turn on the ceiling fan. 
really nice way to bring those automations full circle. As you can see here, everything is very responsive. We tap on main lights and those turn on and off very quickly. The flashing that you're seeing, not from the lights, that just happens to be the TV going on in the other corner of the room. Our only issue is we wish HomeKit did more, such as exposing the motion sensors or the cameras to HomeKit, or even in a world where Apple would allow this, allowing the brilliant controller to control any other HomeKit devices in the home. Until then, we have to rely on these third-party integrations, which are very verbose, but there are limitations. We'll look at setting those up in just a second again, but let's look at just the main UI of the Brilliant controller. Now, we have that home screen, which has a bunch of shortcuts that you can set up, including the lights that we see here, jumping into the intercoms, or shortcuts such as all turning off the lights, which is the scene that was set up. The intercom is pretty cool. You can use the home broadcast feature to go to all the switches in your home, or you can specifically pull up one individually, go with video, or even just audio. Adding shortcuts is very easy. You can choose from any of your devices that you have or any scenes that you have set up, such so as all lights on, all lights off, or turning on the fan and lights together. You can really get creative in how you set up those scenes and add them right there to your home screen. Again, right now on this switch, we only have two scenes enabled. It is easy to add additional scenes, tap on that plus button, add new actions or partner scenes, set a time that you want it to run or however you want to run as just a shortcut, and then it'll go ahead and save into your scene selection when you can add it as a shortcut. Now this thing is pretty crazy on its own. I mean, if it was just how it is, we'd be really excited, but it does have a ton of additional devices that it'll work with. Things like Ecobee in August, Honeywell Home, uh, LifeX, Nest Thermostats, Ring, Schlegg and Code, Smart Things, which also works with Lutron, Sonos Music, TP-Link, Wemo. There are so many options here. One of the big ones is going to be Hue or even LifeX because normally those bulbs have to stay on. So this actually will allow you to leave that power running but tie these physical switches to those bulbs. So if you have Hue lights in the ceiling and you never wanted to turn off that switch before, now you can actually have a wall switch that'll control those Hue lights in your ceiling or those LifeX lights or our kitchen cabinets, whatever it may be. It is an amazing way to control those Hue lights, LifeX lights, or those other lights that you have around your home that are integrated here into Brilliant. You can do everything you'd expect, including turn it on and off, dimming it, and changing that color. Aside from Hue, another wildly popular integration is going to be Sonos. You can actually view all of your Sonos speakers easily from Brilliant. It'll show you anything that's playing, so right now our TV soundbar isn't playing anything. I can jump into my bedroom Sonos system and play music there, but it looks like I'm already playing some cheap trick on my Sonos Move. From here, I can shuffle, I can mix everything up, I can skip tracks, I can see what is playing next, I can choose new music to play, I can adjust the volume really easy to change all of these right here from your wall panel. When you have guests or kids or anyone else in your home that wants to be able to control lights, appliances, or anything really, it's amazing to have it right here at your fingertips. Now, another very kind of underrated feature is this amazing ability to use it as a display, a photo frame. So here are photos that we've uploaded. These are all my original photos that we've put on here, and it's a great way to show them inside of the house. Brilliant originally launched this feature as kind of an afterthought, but once they added it, they realized how popular this feature was. You know, kids are able to add fun photos or tease people or just show off your family or your shots that you've taken. It's so cool. We can go here into our Apple's uh, iCloud library. I can choose a photo of me and my wife and again it's already cut off which is not great so you could go in and choose a different photo or crop it elsewhere but you actually can edit everything here in the brilliant app and I can go ahead and move that crop it in make it bigger get it perfectly lined up save that and it only takes literally a second and boom it is uploaded all into our brilliant system I can choose which wall panels it goes to how often they change the brightness of the displays when the displays turn off such as at night or just based on motion there are really so many things you can do you can do more as well from the Brilliant app. You can control your scenes. You can get into your different rooms in your home. You can control individual devices, such as your fan or lights or your cameras, anything like that you can control from the, uh, the app. But it is a little bit limited. Not all functionality is in the app yet, but more is absolutely coming. You can view your cameras here, so kind of like a security device, being able to check in on your kids or a housekeeper, something like that. And there is big privacy concerns here. So of course, there is a actual physical cover for those camera lenses so you don't have to have them on all the time. So if you're putting this in a bedroom or something, you don't have to worry about it. You can tap in and when you go to 
view a camera in the house you have to have permissions you can passcode these so not everyone else can do it right now you can see I'm trying to get into my hallway and it's completely blocked because we have it covered with that lens cover we open the lens cover and you can see my very all dark backlit hallway but the cameras on these are very nice I love being able to use that intercom feature or even better when you have a ring video doorbell and it comes right through your camera here when that camera is live it does light up with red and lets you know that the camera is in use you can add alarms to this thing we have our August smart lock connected here this is a great way to check and see if your lock is locked and unlock it or lock it if you need to simply put the brilliant wall panels live up to their name they do a ton and brilliant has shared with me some upcoming integrations that are going to be absolutely amazing and i cannot wait to see what comes down the line now with HomeKit in here this jumps to the top of our HomeKit accessories list there's a ridiculous amount of stuff you can do and it is overwhelming so i hope you take the time and watch this video as well as check out our hands-on article that goes along with this because there really is so much baked in including verbose home kit support i can't wait to see how this thing plays out in the future i know it's going to get better if you want to grab some for yourself you can find the links down below in the description hey everyone did you guys like that video be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see and follow apple insider on all social media channels if you want the best prices on any apple gear check out the apple insider price guide that is updated daily and until next time, we'll see you later.